What's up guys? Today we're going to pull out the infamous African rock python. Also thought I would do an update on my ball python clutch. These guys are aimed to be cut on December 24th, so Christmas Eve. So these are gonna be little Christmas ball python babies. Um, I look forward to doing a video on those guys. Um, but yeah, so these guys are still looking good. I like to tend to check the tub and check the eggs. Um, try to wipe down the lid so that there's not too much water dropping on the eggs, but yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close these guys back up and I uh, look forward to showing you guys the future babies in this guy's clutch. All right, well, I still take this girl out with a hook. Um, she is defensive in these tubs. I do plan on moving her to the four foot cage. It's just that she is super defensive and I don't want her to mess up her face on that uh, glass. So I have a couple different sizes of snake hooks right here that I use. Um, depending on what snake I'm handling, the short one is the, the main one I like to use because it's more sturdy and you know, the accessibility of it within the area I have, this is an easier hook to maneuver around my room. This one's a little bit longer. This is like the three footer. So this is like the, tw I believe this is two foot. Uh, I think this is two foot or a little bit less than 30 inches. And then this is like the 30 to 36, I believe. Um, but yeah, so I like to use this with something like the false water cobra that uh, when she's in food mode, uh, in her food mode. And I like to use this with the African rock python. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this girl out right now. Just because when she was a baby, I could have used a smaller hook, but as she gets bigger, her strike range is a little bit longer. And she tends not to strike too much, but she looks like she's a little cranky today. So I gotta check. And you, I am in a wheelchair, so it's a little bit hard to see over. But it kind of shows you guys what I do. So I gotta make sure her face is the opposite way. I just gotta get her on the run. Gotta get her comfortable. I gotta make sure I grab the back end of her. So this is the African rock python, Python sabe. The longest and largest species of snake in Africa. And I don't show her off enough, but it's a little update on her guys. She is still defensive, you know, and if I do not re recommend these guys whatsoever. You know, in the beginning, she was a little bit easy to handle. Now she's getting to a size that I gotta be more wary on what, I, what my actions are doing. Because right now she might get aggravated with the light or anything around me. Any, any movement I do, she could get annoyed with. So I try to make sure, you know, I keep her, try not to stare at her too much. I try to make sure that she has, she, you know, she's not really, uh, I gotta make sure. Yeah, just gotta, you gotta hold her with confidence, basically. I'm trying to make sure put her where she's not facing me. Let's see, towards the camera. But yeah, here's the African rock python, Python Sabe. So yeah, she's getting some size on her, guys. You can tell. All right, there she is, guys. The African rock, African rock python, guys. Python Sabe. This girl is getting some size on her. I'm really happy with her. There's not too many African rock pythons on YouTube. And uh, I like to show this girl off when I can. Right there. Let's 
trying to get some uh, good video of her, but you can tell she's a little aggravated. She's a little tensed up. So what I'll do is I'll continue to move her around, get her a little comfortable. But yeah, I do not recommend these guys at all. I rather recommend something like a Burmese Python before I recommend these guys. And she gets to a size where it's kind of hard to hold her up now. <laughs> African rock python is one of the most notorious defensive aggressive snakes in the world. They're notorious for always striking and always pooping on people, but I haven't tend to get too much poop on by this girl. She just tends to try st strike at me. She tries to tend This girl tends to try striking at me at a random um, at times. She um, she's been doing good though recently, so This girl's temperament is getting better, but at the same time, she does get uncomfortable very fast. All right, guys, this is a little bit closer up view of the African rock python, Python Sabe. Wow. I hope those colors are coming up on camera. I love this girl. I do not regret getting this girl whatsoever. And I am dedicated to raising this girl and giving her future enclosure here. She'll be forever with me. These were, this girl was one of my dream snakes growing up. The big four, the African rock, the retic, the Burmese and the green anaconda are my favorite snakes in the world to have and I own them. Right there she is, guys. Yeah, I just thought I'd do a quick little video, a little update on this girl. Cause I know a lot of people told me to show her off because not too many people show off African rocks on YouTube. Um, she's not growing too fast cause I'm not trying to get her huge by any means. Um, and I am slow growing her. The African rock python in size comparison would get something similar size to like a berm, uh, but a little bit more skinny. They, they, if they, they can get as fat as them, but berms tend to get a little bit more fatter. Um, but these guys will get a little bit longer than a berm. As I handle this girl, as you can tell, she's taming out very well. As long as my eyes are out of sight, <laughs> she tends not to get nervous too much. But yeah, I still gotta be aware of knowing what she could do. And all right, guys. Well, I'm gonna show you a quick video of a uh, Aldabra tortoise at my local reptile store. I will be doing a tour pretty soon here of that reptile store. But I thought I would show their their little uh, pet that they have there, the Aldabra tortoise. And they do have a couple of them, I believe. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and send you guys to the reptile store where their beautiful Aldabra tortoise is at. <laughs> 